Well, uh, something very different today on Turf Business TV, although we've got a couple of familiar faces, it's uh, we're joined by uh, Liddy and Meg, who were part of a all-female grounds team for a, a women's Super League game at the weekend. Um, first off, Liddy, uh, we'll start with you. Um, fantastic opportunity. Obviously, you've been in football for a little while now, but I think it was your first match day and in front of 60,000 people. Wow, that's all I can say. Yeah. Um, very cool. Um, great opportunity. Um, maybe a baptism of fire, maybe, uh, for my first match day. But, yeah, it's what a cool event to be a part of. And, yeah, um, really sort of inspirational, really. And, Meg, although uh, you're firmly ensconced in cricket, not your first match day um, in terms of football. Uh, you've been doing some stuff at Ashton Gate, I believe. Um, how did it compare to that? Yeah, I've worked a couple of match days at Ashton Gate um, with the WSL and a couple of rugby games as well. So, um, yeah, I've, I've loved working there, but it's a different scale. The Emirates is sort of twice the amount of people there and Arsenal's such a huge club with just a massive following. So, yeah, I second what Liddy said. It was a baptism of fire, but um, it was such an incredible weekend. So how did this come about then? Uh, so... It basically came off the back of Edgebaston last year. Um, you know, we had our all-women's team at, that, that did the women's ashes. And off the back of that, Hannah Buckley from the FA, who's in charge of women's facilities and the professional game, she basically just took the reins. We, we had a bit of a chat um, maybe six, eight months ago, and she's just made it happen, her and her team. Um, you know, we've had the support of the GMA as well and Arsenal, obviously, and... Yeah, we had a lot of the crew from Edge Baston as well as a few really cool new faces. So that's how it happened. So, Liddy, how many of you were involved? There were 13 of us involved in total um, with uh, two of the Arsenal ground staff, Tara and Bobby, uh, sort of leading the charge, as it be. OK, so Paul Ashcroft, I, I guess, gave you a bit of a setup, and then did he leave everybody to it? Pretty much. He was there, he was there if... We needed him um, with two of members of his Emirates team were also there just in case. But yeah, pretty much he was sort of hands off, just sort of guidance, sort of uh, support really. So talk me through what, when did the event for you guys start? When did you, you turn up and, and, you know, when did it finish, I guess? And, and talk me through what happened. So Saturday morning, we all met up um, at the Emirates, sort of went round, had obviously introductions, uh, tour, etc., cetera, um, health and safety, all that stuff. And then, um, yeah, we kind of just got stuck in, did a bit of practice of what we'd be doing on the match day with sort of ball stop nets and practice goals, stuff like that. Um, and then... I think, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Um, then we went for a nice dinner um, just to sort of get to know everyone and discuss the next day. And then obviously Sunday was a uh, match day for us. And yeah, it was went really quick actually, but <laughs> it was good. Meg, talk me through match day then. When did you turn up? We we were lucky. We got a bit of a bit of a lion. Um, Tara and Bobby, they were, they got their... 6 30 a.m i think so they were they were setting up and marking out we sort of joined in for the for the easy part we helped um we got in there for, for nine started setting up the the practice skulls um ball stopping nets and that sort of thing um and so yeah it was it was quite cool to be able to be in the stadium and watch the atmosphere build as the sixty thousand people filed in it was great <laughs> so in terms of what happened on the day were, were the crowd aware of, of what was going on in terms of the grounds team yeah, I think so. I think they did, um, the, the sort of the media coverage was very extensive, I'd say, in partnership with the Grounds Management Association they um, and women in football. They sort of really pushed it. So, yeah, it wasn't just the grounds team that was all female for the day. I believe the technical team was also, and maybe even supporting, like, the. I think even some of the police were all female as well. I think, wow, today, okay. I think it was sort of a very broad sense um so yeah i think it was um quite obvious they definitely did a lot of um media for it yeah so Meg, divoting at half time were you out doing that yeah we were divoting best best job of the lot um 
<laughs> trying trying to avoid the avoid the sprinklers. Um, yeah, no. So it was, it was cool. I mean, you know, they had sort of sixty thousand eyes on us while we we did our thing, which is definitely a great advertisement for the turf industry. Absolutely, and it was live on TV as well. So um, it, you know, couldn't be much better, apart from the result. You know, but that's you know one of those things. <laughs> 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 not from where I'm sitting, it's not. Um, so, are there any plans for any more things like this in the future? Do you know? Well, we've we've done cricket, we've now done football, so yeah, why why stop there? Um, personally, I want to I want to have a go at rugby, and uh, see if we can tap into a new market there because you know there's so many different audiences watching these different sports. The more people we can get looking at our industry and taking note, the better. So, uh, no immediate plans, but um, no, I, I promised last year we'd be back, and we were. So um, yeah, same again. Well, I think. Certainly echo what you're saying, Meg, and you know, it's something that I, I believe for a long time that the route to getting more people into the industry is to get publicity outside through the sports in particular, um, because that's where you know people are watching and that's where you're going to turn people onto something that you know they don't necessarily know is around. Um, Lydia, is it something that you'd like to do again? Yeah, 100%. I'd do it every day if I could. It was, uh, it was really <laughs> good, it was that good. Um, but yeah, I think. Echoing what Meg said, I think it'd be good to sort of maybe do a few different sports, a few different locations. But I think definitely if we keep the ball rolling from what Meg did and what we've done uh, this weekend, I think um, it'll be really positive. In terms of, um, I think it's Tara and Bobby, they stepped up to kind of manage the day, I guess, didn't they? How, how did they deal with it? I bet that was an exciting experience for them as well. Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've known Tara for a while now and she's incredibly experienced. Um, you know, before she was at Arsenal, she's she's been working in turf since she left school. Uh, and I, I think she's a great leader as well. She's a good people person. And, you know, Bobby's only been around eight months, but she was great too. She was uh, really good with all of us, helped us, you know, in places where we our knowledge fell short. You know, a lot of us came from different sports. So, no, those two were absolutely fantastic and I couldn't speak higher of them both. And Liddy, I mean, I, I presume you, you possibly knew Paul Ashcroft already, but um, how was he to work with? Yeah, he was great. He was just sort of not not too pushy. He was just really there when you sort of needed him. If you had a question, he was very open and communicative. Um, but yeah, it's also really great for him to sort of open the stadium up to us and give us the opportunity to do what we did. Um, so, yeah, a um, big thank you to Paul and everyone who helped make the event happen. As you're employed by the FA, I'll ask this question to Meg, <laughs> Liddy. Um, how are the FA in, in the whole process of this? Did you did you feel part of something a bit special? Oh, yeah. I mean, the FA were absolutely fantastic and it's so clear how much they prioritise the turf, um, which, you know, for us is huge. But, I mean, absolutely, we've got to, you know, shout out the organisation, but you know, Hannah Buckley and, and Gemma from the FA were just absolutely fantastic. They really drove the, the whole initiative for us. And it's great that there are people within that organisation sitting so high up that really share our vision for how important turf is and how we can shine a spotlight on it. So they were fantastic to work with. Liddy, I'm going to ask you both one more question. Um, if there was a, a venue that you'd love to work at in turf, Pick the one. It's got to be, you know, it could be anywhere, but you know, mainly UK, I guess. Uh, well, I'd go somewhere warm, like um, the Camp Nou in Barcelona. That's where I'd go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're listening, not tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Meg, Quality what about you? <laughs> I'm. I mean, Lords was my dream, um, and now I'm here, so I'm. I'm very happy. But um, I, I would have to echo what Liddy said. Um, definitely. Yeah, Barcelona FC would be my number one. Um, but Wembley wouldn't be too far behind either. Like either one of those two. Okay, well. Carl and Octavi, if you're both listening, you've got a couple of recruits. Let's see what we can make happen, eh? <laughs> um, Lily, Meg, thanks so much for your time. It's been a real pleasure talking to you today. And I have to say, it's great to see what you've both been part of. And as I've said before, we want more of this kind of thing to, to spread the word about turf care as a, a profession and a career. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers, Martin. Thanks, Martin. Yeah.